Debate season is underway, which means local elections are on our mind, and that means absentee ballots getting into your mailbox is just around the corner. I had a chance to speak with West Bloomfield Township Clerk Debbie Binder about how you can get your absentee ballot if you haven't applied for one yet or if you're expecting one in the near future. You may obtain an absentee ballot up till 4 p.m. the Monday before an election. So there is plenty of time for somebody who has not requested one yet to still request one. Uh, you know, as an alternate, you can always go to your the early voting center those nine days before an election, which for West Bloomfield, Kego Harbor, Sylvan Lake, and Orchard Lake is at the West Bloomfield Township Library on the main campus. That's open, you know, the days I had spoken about before. But the absentee ballots may be obtained. For, for here, you can only get a West Bloomfield ballot, but up till 4 p.m. again the Friday, or the Monday, I'm sure, the Monday before the election. You can just come to the clerk's office and get it. We can only hand a ballot to the registered voter or mail it to the registered voter's address. So we have frequently, a parent might come in for their child or a husband or wife for their spouse. We can hand them their ballot, but we cannot hand them the child or the spouse's ballot. We can only mail that to the to the um, voter's registered address. So that's something to keep in mind. Somebody cannot you know, pick up your ballot for you. And another important thing is if you are a snowbird or something, we, we cannot for that we can't, the post office will not forward an absentee ballot. So if you are going to be in an alternate vote lo location, you do want to make sure we have the address and file with a signature confirming where we should send that ballot to. There are more ways than ever to have your voice heard in this election, including different ways to have your voice heard with absentee ballots and the ways they can be submitted, as also explained to me by Clerk Debbie Binder. Really, the only difference between absentee voting and voting in a precinct is that if you vote absentee, there is no chance for the voter to cure a ballot that they overvoted. It would it would void the partisan section, where if they had voted it in the precinct or in the early voting center, they would have that ability. That's the only difference because when it is in the, the for tabulation, there is no you know there's no voter to to, to get the feedback and, and and cure the ballot, so it would just be voided. Um, and when it goes into the absent voter counting board. The key point here being where you submit your absentee ballot does have a variety of different effects. If you submit your absentee ballot the more traditional way through the snail mail, once it gets to the West Bloomfield Township Clerk's Office, or if you're in one of our tri-cities, it gets to your local clerk's office, it stays there until the day of the election, that's when it's opened. That's when it's tabulated. That's when, if any errors pop up, that ballot gets put to the side. But the difference, the key point there, is that if you submit at your local early voting center or at your precinct by bringing in your absentee ballot, if there is an issue, you're able to correct it there, spoil your ballot on site, vote with a new one, and have your voice heard. For example, in the primaries in Michigan, you can only vote either Republican or Democrat Democrat in the partisan sections of your ballot. So if you cross party lines on this vote, that could bring up an error you may need to submit a correction for. And to do that, you'd have to be at that polling place. So those options with absentee voting often can also apply to when you're even submitting those ballots before this August primary election. It's a popular method. It's growing across our communities, including in West Bloomfield, where Clerk Binder says this is a continuing trend from the elections past. It has increased, but we've, you know, we, I'm fortunate we have a great group of temporary election workers that, that come in and help us, you know, do everything from assembling the ballots to checking them in and verifying the signatures and all of the, the processes that we do before the ballots are sent to the absent voter counting board for tabulation on election day. We have a large staff, though, to help make sure we can do it all. There is an increase. Um, but we are, you know, I, I guess we, we, we make it happen. It's what we have to do. Everyone's voice has to be heard and everyone's vote counted. And if we bring in more staff, that's what it takes to make sure that we can get the job done. If you are expecting an absentee ballot from West Bloomfield Township, you can expect to see those in your mailbox in the coming days as they have just sent those out. In the meantime, if you have any further questions, including before, during, or after you get that ballot in the mail, or if you want to get one in the mail down the line, visit the West Bloomfield Township Clerk's Office during the regular hours. You can also call them at 248 248- 
451-4848, or of course, join them on Facebook at West Bloomfield Clerk's Office for more information.